How, how would I print them? <laughs> With great difficulty. I'll, sh I'll show you now then, shall I? Let's go, let's go through my, my printing routine, which is just as well, because that's quite an important one. Let me just load up Chitterbox a minute. So let's, let's take, take one of the coaches first. Uh, let's, it doesn't matter which one we take. So that's it in there. Now, I'm, I'm not one of these ones that messes about with slicer programs. Um, I tend to find out the box works. So that's, that's my, my coach in there, as it were. So what I would do is to go into settings. And the first thing is the raft comes up. I've like got it to lift it three millimeters and then I just do auto supports and I print it that's it now where's the don't know how that's the goods wagon and that's from that print the I'll bet show you the one that's actually on there which is that one it's been sprayed but it's, it's, it's printed out fine. And that's the combination I use for printing it out. I print all my, all my bodies, I just print upright. Um, I did print them straight on the bed in the past. Um, and they were all successful as well. Um, but lately I've been using a raft, partly because um, <laughs> they're sticking a bit too well. Um, having the raft there, uh, which then gives me that sort of um, bevel, I can get the scraper under there without damaging the bottom of the coach, as it were. Um, I'll, I'll show you the... So if I was to put that one in now, which this one is actually down on the printer at the moment. So with this one, what I would do with this one is I would take it round there. I would then go in and then auto support and that's printing out at the moment well, not quite because I've modified it slightly because what I've done with the one I'm working on at the moment is oh no it is this one this is the modified one because the one I done before had a solid inside and I found it it, it just it there was no need for it um, apart from which this allows me now to put in another little compart compartment to put a weight in and also to hide my uh, stay alive capacitors for the lighting because there's not much room in the, co in the, in the coach itself. So I, I'm designing a small bit that will go in here. Now that's the support it gives. And this is a solid one. You can see that was the first one, which is solid. I've taken the bottom out, but it has, it has printed out well, um, and it come it comes out fine. Um, the only thing I find with resin, you've got to be careful when you're pu pushing your wheels in, because there's not as much give in the resin as there in is on the plastic that you find on the ready to run kits. So. Uh, it's getting the one pivot in there first and gently and carefully easing the other one in. Uh, but once they're in, they run absolutely fine. I don't know if you can hear that. But they run perfectly once they're in. And I don't use any brass bushes. 